the Slim Show. Hello, this is Greg Cohan. Greg Cohan. Greg! <laughs> How are you, my friend? Actor from L.A., right? That's me, man. <sighs> Father Doug Jones in Velocipad. Father Doug Jones. Oh, my in God. <laughs> we we both watched a movie this past weekend, and dude, it, it's... It's great. It nailed like a '70s B movie, like yeah. so so perfectly. Thank you guys so much. We really appreciate you watching it. It was uh, it was a lot of fun to make. Oh my god! And just just for everybody out there, uh, after witnessing uh, your parents die, you 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 just had to get away. You went to China and you got you got cut by uh, a cursed Velociraptor like fang, Tooth. right? Yeah, fang or claw, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> and then you you transformed and you you just totally totally lost lost everything. <laughs> exactly. Oh I went searching for God and ended up finding some form of evil and yeah. I try to use it for good. Yes, but it, I feel I feel that it works. Um uh and uh I was going to ask too like just just some of your lines in it though. Like uh I think it was the um you, your counterpart said, I don't know much about God, and you said, I don't know much about dinosaurs. <laughs> just some of the lines are just... So, <laughs> thanks, man. Uh, a, lot of, a lot of what we... Uh, we rarely went off script, right? Um, yeah. Some yeah. of the... Surprisingly enough, we did rehearse some of those scenes. Uh, we did get together in New York because um, uh, it was filmed in Pennsylvania. Uh, so we did get together in New York and work some of those scenes, and that scene that I did with Alyssa, Alyssa Kempinski, who played Carol. Carol. Um, yeah, it, uh, it, it was like, we were reading it, and it was like, something's not working, let's see if we can just like improv and go off of it, and that, I don't know much about God, I don't know much about dinosaurs, uh, was something that we improv and Brendan kept it and put it in the script, and uh, wow. we just kept it in it, and, and it's one of the funniest lines in the movie, yes. so... Uh, just- yeah. <laughs> well, I, I remember I was like 10 minutes in and I messaged Slim who hadn't seen it yet. I'm like, I am hooked on this movie. Like it, it didn't lose yeah. pace. It didn't, it just kept going just with amazing things like one after another, just the over the top laughing, like of like a uh, uh, Kung Fu movie. Just so, so many great things in it. So the a workout montage, your workout <laughs> montage is just incredible. Classic, right? I feel like every movie I do these days has a workout montage. <laughs> whether it's a short film or an episodic or something, there's some version of me doing fitness, which I'm okay with. So stay in oh. shape. You know, you never know when a workout montage is going to break out. You should make a, a workout montage real, like acting real. I <laughs> just, just do a workout montage montage. I want to see workout montage the movie. <laughs> 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 two hours of workout <laughs> montages coming soon to a, to an elliptical near you <laughs> i was gonna ask too is there gonna be a velocipaster 2 because i feel like oh yeah. velocipaster is gonna have a huge cult following that was just his origin story mm-hmm. yes right it's really exciting um you know we've we've really caught fire over the last few months and over the last year really since working with wild eye films uh with wild eye releasing um so yeah we're 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 kind of riding the wave right now it's crazy how you know we picked up a lot of steam once wild eye released their uh rendition of our poster in april uh you know shockingly enough it was on easter uh they released this awesome you know poster that's on the cover of the dvd and blu-ray right now because we had our own poster and it's kind of like a a vintage looking enter the dragon uh you know illustration yes. and um they were like you know the poster is the only thing we have control over uh and we were at first we were like oh man uh okay i i guess we'll go ahead with it and trust you guys and yeah. we let that go to them and uh when it came out we were first like oh man i don't know if this is the same movie but it just totally caught fire on the internet <laughs> uh, entertainment weekly picked it up uh we were a meme in in uh spain at oh, one point a political meme in spain <laughs> a political uh, and, meme. And, and, yeah it's crazy and, and uh and since then since then people have just been like dying to watch it now yeah. since it's been released people are seeing it and they're really you know catching on they're telling their friends but there's still a ton of people out there who haven't discovered it yet mm. okay which is really wild which is yeah. really cool so like 
we, we kind of rely on that word of mouth, like yes. tell your friends, because uh, it's available. It's out there. You can you Is can it? buy it in uh, in Walmart. You can buy it on Amazon. That's what I was gonna ask. Uh, so it's it's pretty neat. Yeah. Cool. And that's what I was gonna uh, bring up too. Like I would never think a poster would be that effective. Like I just th- that's amazing. That's amazing that it. They 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 know they know what they're doing. Uh, yeah. The, the, the vintage poster, while it looks awesome, it's more for the fans. It's like uh, it, it's it's a really cool looking T-shirt poster. Uh, we yeah. did we did have some VHSs floating around there, uh, VHS copies of the film that have that vintage poster on it, and it wow. fits. But yes. like for 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 someone scrolling through, you know, uh, a streaming service or something, uh, it ju- they just see like that thumbnail. They see really quickly with like a rabid velocipaster wearing a priest collar and like. You know, a ah. reptilian version of me holding up a claw, and it says "A Man of the Claw," the Velocipaster. Ah. I mean, it's it's kind of hard not to be like, "What the I, fuck is this?" Dude, Let the me crazy, click on it. the craziest thing, Greg, is that um, I don't know. I think it was like a day before this movie was sent to me in my emails. Slim sent me the 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 trailer of it. I was like, "Dude, yeah. this looks great. This looks great." And so I was just going through like Amazon. I was like, "I just want to like watch something," and I'm going through like recent releases, and I see. Philosopher, pastor <laughs> and I'm like what is this and I watched the trailer yeah. and I'm like oh my god I was like Rob you gotta check this out yeah. and I sent him the, the trailer and then like he, he emailed me back he's like, like this dude like to me. he's like, like they just pitched this to me like yeah. uh, two hours after you messaged me this trailer <laughs> yeah man it was great yeah. they know what they're doing at Wild Eye they really uh, they were really excited about working with us and uh you know they did a really good job of getting it out there and uh, you know promoting us and it's been a, it's been a wild ride. So now uh, I want to know like what what is your involvement in the film? Like uh, are you friends with the writer and creator or did some guy just be like, hey, here's the script for this film and you were like, yeah, fuck, I'm in. Like yeah. what? <laughs> so so I was working uh, at a um crowdfunding and distribution site for independent films called seed and spark i was in business development for them and uh we were at a meeting i was actually out in los angeles and um all of the films that get submitted on seed and park seed and spark they need to be approved for crowdfunding and uh the head of crowdfunding kind of like his ears peaked up and he looked at his screen and he was like you guys a movie just submitted for crowdfunding called the Velocipaster, <laughs> and everyone, everyone in the in the office just started like dying, laughing, and ran over to see if it was real, and it was real. And I just so happened to be there, and I looked at who was on the who the the producers were, and I knew one of the producers. I had oh, worked on awesome. a uh, short film with him in New York, and I reached out to him. Uh, I said, Brandon, I, I love what you guys are doing. Uh, can, is it, are you casting for this? I got to be a part of this. You know, because I was just an auditioning actor in New York working part time uh, with Seaton Spark. And he was like, actually, the, the lead actor who was in the original uh, Grindhouse trailer that they used for the crowdfunding video, he's dropping out. He can't do it. Oh. Um, so I, they sent me the sides, the audition sides. And right when I saw the sides, I was like, oh shit, this is actually good. Yes. Uh, that, yeah. And, like, and I just. Yeah, I ran, I ran with it, and then that yeah. next thing I know, I was in Bryant Park meeting with Brendan Steer, writer-director, and we were talking about the arc of Pastor Doug Jones from wow. uh, Troubled Priest to Vigilante Ninja Dinosaur. <laughs> I feel like, though, too, like, I don't know, just by watching the movie, I feel like you've had some, like, serious training as an actor. Like, is that is that accurate? Uh, I have, man. I, I, I mean, I... I I studied in school a little bit, like I did plays in school, uh, in college, but I wasn't a theater major. Um, and for about eight years in New York, I was like, I had a day job, you know, that I went to every day, but I was always, I was moonlighting as an actor, taking Meisner classes and taking classes and just acting as much as possible. Uh, A lot of theater, a lot of black box, independent theater. Yeah. Uh, then I started, then I started to get into like commercials and voiceover work. Um, I did some children's television shows, which is crazy, you know, like at that time I was just like, I'll take whatever I can get. I'm going to work on everything and just get better. And then I started to get, started to get paid as an actor. So I was like, all right, I'm out. I'm going to quit this day job and just do this full time and give it a go. 
Uh, and that was right around when I did that short film with um, the producer on Velocipaster. And uh, oh, wow. that's when I got introduced to this film. And this was my first feature film. So cool. it was pretty, pretty, pretty fun one out the gate. Hope there's and that's really more. what it was. It was like c committing to the fun, you yes. know, and like just just playing it as serious as possible and finding ways where we can like dial up the the fun and just try not to mess up the take by laughing so hard. So. The, the other thing about the film that I noticed, um, and I, I think I mentioned it to Slim, was the soundtrack. Was that yeah. soundtrack um, just for the movie, or was, were those songs that already existed? So some of those, some of those songs uh, exist. Um, those were, so Brendan, uh, when he, when Brendan writes, he kind of like already has a soundtrack in his mind when he's writing. Yes. Uh, when we were working on, when we were like, discovering the arc of this character um you know from an acting perspective he sent me a whole like google doc folder that was like you know pictures inspiration movies to watch and of course a playlist and a lot of those songs um some of them are original songs that he in his band wrote uh called free parking and then there's another couple of songs uh one from mass the band and then uh, a few others that uh, he had on his playlist that he kept in the movie. Cool. There was one that we couldn't get the rights to that was in the original trailer called Jesus Hammer. And it's one of the funniest <laughs> songs I've ever heard in my life. Uh, but we, yeah, that. it didn't end up in the movie. <laughs> wow. Wow. And uh, Greg, I, real quick, before we go any further, I want to ask if you could uh, do us a favor and say this is Gregory James Cohen. The Velocipaster, and you're listening to Robin's The Robin Slim Show. The Robin Slim Show, right? Yes. Okay. Whenever this you're ready. This is Gregory James Cohen. Yeah, here we go. This is Gregory James Cohan, also known as The Velocipaster, and you are listening to The Rob and Slim Show. Thank you. Oh, that's awesome. Thank, you dear. Thank you so much. That's, that's going in our intro. Yes. Next week. Next week. Greg, I gotta say something real quick. Oh. You are like if Captain America could turn into a dinosaur, that's what you are. Like you personally, yeah, you are Captain dude. America could turn into a dinosaur. <laughs> Thanks, guys. That makes me feel so freaking good. You have no idea. Like, I was dude, getting so many what? Captain America vibes, and I was dude, like, this dude's amazing. Just the, the Vietnam um, flashback. Yeah. The Vietnam flashback and the exorcism <laughs> scene. Oh my god. Just those. Everything. Yeah. Uh, Frankie. Frankie Mermaid, because I'm swimming in pussy. Like, just I'm a, as, uh, I'm like a, why, do we, why did they call me Frankie Mermaid? Because I'm swimming in pussy. <laughs> yeah, dude. That's, that's when I knew we were like, this movie was going to be awesome uh, to make. Because, like, yes. uh, his, the actor's name is Fernando, uh, and he, like, he came up with this character. And, like, Brendan was like, hey, man, do you want to be in this movie? He's like, yes. Here, I'm going to play this guy. His name's Frankie Mermaid. You know why I think Frankie Mermaid? Because he's swimming in bitches. He's going to have hair He's going to have hair down to his shoulders. I'm going to grow it out for the next two or three years. And then I'm going to shave the top of my head. And he did this. Dude. And I was like, yo, this guy's all in. i got to bring my A game yes. for this movie. And it, oh it was awesome. I just love to. Just, I don't want to spoil anything, but just at the end, like everything being okay. If you know what I mean. Like, just, like uh, yeah, exactly. 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 <laughs> God so damn. Good. So good. And I, I want to ask um, being in the film, what was your favorite part? Because it looks like it was so much fun. What was your favorite part of filming it? Um, it was a blast to make the entire thing. The, the, the cast and crew was truly a, a team we all kind of wore uh multiple hats but at no time were, did we, any of us ever not want to be there because it was so much damn fun um but my favorite part was definitely uh during one of the first changes into a dinosaur where uh i kind of am like hulking out and roaring into the into the midnight sky uh because that was like my michael jackson thriller moment uh, and I was just like, I was just like going into the movie. I was like, I hope I get to do this and like really kind of morph. And, uh, I just had so much fun with that stuff. And like the fight scenes, I mean, come on, like doing Kung Fu, so like, cool. and nunchucks. Like, yes. it's, it's, uh, I feel like I'm a, I'm a kid, you know, like yes. playing in my backyard. That's, that's what it's all about. 
Just the, like my my thing too, like in in China, just that they spoke English for the most part it was just great to me. Just that little, <laughs> just that little aspect of it was like, oh my god, this is great. I, <laughs> yeah, man. I love that Doug and his uh, previously prostitute girlfriend just were great at fighting. We can yeah. kick ass. Exactly. <laughs> Yes. Yep. Exactly. I love, who was the other? Who was the other priest? The one that was over you? Uh, was it Father Gregory? Oh, Father. Uh, uh, yeah, Father yeah. Stewart. That was Father Stewart. Stewart. Father Stewart and yes. Father Stewart had the World War. Uh, was that the Vietnam, the Vietnam War? Flashback. Fucking flashback. He was also like, oh yeah, my God. parents die. That's what they do. <laughs> <laughs> so, exactly. So that is actually Brendan Steer's real father. Um, oh, wow. He uh, cast his dad. You know knowing and hoping that he would be like bad like a bad actor he ended up actually being pretty yeah good no he was and, great like, added to it and was really outstanding and was on board and wow. fully on board for that vietnam flashback i mean you really got to love your son yes. to do that yes and whoever played your parents in the movie great they were great oh and-, <laughs> yeah. that, awesome. and i don't want to reveal I it but i think I- those I think those were the only two people in ca- on in the cast that like didn't really understand what they were getting into. They, get uh, they were kind of like, "This is weird," but it's like, "Yeah, just go with it. It's going to be awesome." <laughs> and <laughs> I love the one villain. I don't want to reveal yeah, too much same, about him. Same. But yeah, the one the one villain. You know who I'm talking about? He's yeah. the non Chinese guy in the group yeah. of Chinese people. He <laughs> yeah. amazing. His story amazing. The scenes with just I uh, yeah. fucking love it. <laughs> <laughs> He's so good. Yeah. Everyone, everyone in the cast was just like outstanding to work with. And everyone other than my parents in the movie, everyone really had a good grasp on what we were making. Mm. And I think that's what made it so much fun. Just, we just leaned into the fun. Yeah. I mean, after doing a movie like that, like, could you ever see yourself doing like a real serious movie? Ooh. Uh, yeah, absolutely. I mean, like, that's what, that's the stuff I work on, uh, you know, just in, whether I'm in class or I'm auditioning for things. Uh, yeah, that's the stuff I, I want to do, but I also have it in my wheelhouse to do, you know, campy, funny, ridiculous things, uh, as well. Um, you know, I'd love to keep doing, uh, like Velocipaster until we get to Velocipaster 10. Yeah, you gotta. I I also want to, I also want to do you know, serious, dark, gritty dramas as well, you know? Um, yeah. But I love the horror genre as well. I mean, like, leaning mm-hmm. into that, and uh, that's it's so much fun to make horror movies, with, especially with people that you love making movies with, so. Well, so and just kind of modeling that weird, like, the early, like, what was it, 80s or 90s horror films where it was like, like Leprechaun. I always bring that one up. You have Leprechaun 1, 2, 3, then Leprechaun in the Hood, Leprechaun in Space. Like, I want to see exactly. that. I want to see that for Lots La- Velocipaster. Velocipaster pa- Pastor on the golf course. <laughs> like, just <laughs> weird shit. Right? Yes. Exactly. And, like, <laughs> you know, I grew up on some of the, I grew up on some of those movies, and, mm. and like, I, right away, I, I knew what we were making, and they're just fun. Uh, yeah, you know, and um, you know, I don't know that we'll go Velocipaster ten, go that deep. Yeah. No, you only on. go three. You only go three. You go three, and then you start throwing in other names. Like I said, like space and on Broadway. Or, yeah, yeah, Broadway and uh, Broadway. golf course and <laughs> baseball player, like whatever. <laughs> yeah, we have. You know, I'm not gonna like. I'm not gonna promise anything, but we have. I don't know if you guys have seen Wolf Cop. We definitely like connected with those guys. I and, saw Wolf. Uh, I, I watched some of Wolf Cop. That was pretty Wolf badass. Cop now. I want to see Wolf, <laughs> Wolf yeah. Cop is badass. <laughs> yeah. Wow. So we'll see if there's any crossover in the future. Nice, Greg. Are there any other projects that you're working on that you could tell us about? Uh, right now, I'm just kind of writing some of my own things here in Los Angeles, uh, getting my face out there, promoting this film, and just you know trying to work as much as possible. Cool, cool, awesome. Uh, I was just gonna say uh, too. Um, and if you weren't acting, what would you be doing? If I wasn't acting, what would I be doing? I'd probably still be selling billboards, which was what my day job was before I quit my job to be an actor. Wow. Um, other than that, I just got I just got married this last year. We just got nice. back from our honeymoon. Oh wow! Congrats. Where was that? Thanks, man. 
I was out in Spain. We went to Barcelona, Sevilla, oh. Ibiza, and Menorca. That sounds amazing. Wow. Yeah, it was rad. Yeah. <laughs> wow, living the life, dude. Living the Velocipaster life. <laughs> dude, I, we're having a blast. This I last year has been pretty incredible. That's amazing. That's that's great. That's great, dude. Thank you so much for talking to us, Gregory. Oh, my pleasure. Thank you guys for having me. Absolutely. Where, where can everybody find you and the film? Um, yeah, so you can follow me at Greg Cohan, C-O-H-A-N. Uh, I'm active on Instagram and uh, a little bit on Twitter. Uh, but you can also follow at the Velocipaster on Instagram and Twitter. We're quite active there and respond to any, uh, any direct messages. Um, yeah, and you can rent, buy, uh, and watch the Velocipaster now on any streaming service. Uh, Amazon Prime is probably the, the easiest way to find it. Um, and, uh, or in any of your local stores that sell DVDs and Blu-rays. Get it now and watch it now with your friends. Yes. Gregory, too, I, real quick, before we wrap this up, I want to ask, every now and then, me and Slim do an extra show where we watch a movie and we drink to it. I was going to ask, uh, would it be okay if we watched The Velocipaster? <laughs> Absolutely. Oh, that'd be amazing. That'd be great. As soon as I was watching it's it, the, like, it's started, the best I was way, like, it's the best way to watch it. <laughs> yeah. 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 Great, great movie I, to drink, too. I have one more thing before we wrap it out, Greg, because I'm throwing out, like, uh, free concepts and stuff to people, so you you can have this. Ooh. This is all yours. Uh, Velocipasture, and he's going to encounter this guy. This guy, is his name is Rex Preacher. Rex Preacher, I love it. We are always <laughs> accepting suggestions for sequels and the crossovers, and the fans speak up often, and we are always open to receiving those. I'm Absolutely. Rex Preacher. <laughs> Rex Preacher. <laughs> <laughs> Rex Preacher sucks. <laughs> I love it, guys. You're awesome. I love you, Greg. You're awesome. <laughs> Thank you, Greg. All right. Thanks, guys. I appreciate it. Absolutely, right. man. Thank you so much. We'll talk soon. All right. See ya.